You be the judge. <clears throat> Every Sunday morning, these these guys or this group here meets up here at McDonald's and has breakfast. I, I'll tell you what your model they are in just a minute. Let me go down here to this one that's kind of unique. Demo and Dozer. Call Jim, 1-800-PVC. He's got stuffed chickens in the in cages on the on the um, <laughs> truck. Anyway, um, our roosters. I'm sorry, not chickens. But um, interior. These things are just. Well, I can tell they he he done this himself. But anyway, I guess that's what they was done in the in the old days. This thing is still fresh. It still smells like like a polyurethane. It's a beautiful old ride. It's a Ford. It's still got the hand crank on the front. The brass Ford emblem. Brass headlights. What does that say? Ford motor. No, the Ford model. 656 made by ENJ Detroit Michigan those were the days Detroit Michigan now the only thing made in Detroit Michigan is, is pain and suffering for the people that are out of work stuff roosters hmm. I wonder where you buy stuff roosters I don't know anyway Let's look at the suspension of this hot rod. Wow. Keep it simple. Uh-oh. See, it's dripping a little bit. I don't know what's under the hood. Wow. Flat four. Yep, he's got a little water leak. Let me put this back down real easy. This yours? Jim Broussard. Jim Broussard, huh? Yeah. What year model is it? 1914. 1914. He's got a real bad water leak on it. Yeah. I was looking into stuffed roosters. No, I was just I was just videotaping them. I'm gonna put them on YouTube. What year model is this one? 26 or 27. 27? They're beautiful. The hand crank on them. 27 Ford. Back when they made cars. Yeah, I noticed that y'all that y'all are um that y'all are a few more slowly slowly um coming here I, I noticed there was just a couple and then then there was a few more but um you got a model a oh really yeah is that what that what you're doing is we got a 40, 1944 um, four-door sedan up in the shop that we're that we're doing. Yeah. We just pulled the um, flat eight out of it, and we're going. We we set it off to the side, and um. Where's the shop? Sir, where's your shop? Up in um, Escatawba. Yeah, um, Dozier's my last name. Yes, sir. It's just a rare opportunity to see these these um find of a vehicle that's old. 1914. Ford. Is that your chickens? Yes, sir. 
Oh, Got you a bad water leak on that thing, huh? Ah, they just, they do that on your water pump. They not, they got a packing type water pump. Oh, it, it, runs, it swells it, up. Well, it, when it runs, it leaks a little. It ain't nothing. Uh, just, well, that, I, that's what brought me over. I seen you. Um, I said, was that real chickens? I had to go over and look and see if it. You don't know nothing. My neighbor that used to be for the storm, he brought into the house the other day, and I was working back there, and I said, I'll be with you in just a few minutes, Gene. He moved to Harleston. I don't get to see him much, but I walked out there and I stooped down and went. To, I thought they were real, and he I, he laughed at me. I mean, they look real. You yeah, know? they I do mean, from they, a distance. They do look yeah. real. So, uh, but he got. But I just I, I tell everybody this morning I have to ride them around like my dog. Them <laughs> off I understand that. Through. Well, that's a that's a fine machine. Yeah, he just got that one. Uh, well, he bought it from this guy. This guy here. Had it. Yeah, I'm videotaping and putting it on, on my, my channel. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, got the old gangster-looking model. Sir? All right. Let me see what your model of this one is. Um, 1925. Ford. You notice these, these older vehicles didn't have um, odometers. I guess you drove them until they stopped and Somebody else fixed them and started driving them from there. But, um, real steel. Uh, no fiberglass bodies. This one's got some wood wheels on it. Wood spoke wheels. 1925. Got a little differential leak there. A transmission. I guess that's a transmission. Some of the flat. Is that either a, a flathead six or flathead four? Looks like he's converted it to an alternator. Brand new cherry bomb exhaust. Anyway, these old rear ends. I've got a couple of these rear ends up at, up at the shop. They um, you can use them for different things, but. I've never imagined putting them back on the back of a vehicle. They're a pain in the butt to work on. Straight axle front end, leaf spring in the middle. Hang on, let me try to get this camera right. I guess that's your emergency brake. Is that like a. Uh, that's the brake, huh? So let's see. This linkage runs to, to the brakes. Huh. It's like a drum brake, but on the outside, like a friction brake. Huh. Imagine that. Alright, let me stop videotaping this one.